how are you doing? It's day three of being at home, getting a little bored. Um, so I thought today we can do some science. I got this science idea from the California Science Center website. I will definitely send your moms and dads um, the link. It's also in English and Spanish, and they have a lot of different activities you can do at home um, to become a little scientist. So this is what you're gonna need to get. Okay, number one, you're gonna need to get a wooden spoon. So a wooden spoon looks different than a plastic spoon. It's made of wood. Any wooden spoon will do. Okay, number two, you're gonna get a metal spoon. So a metal spoon is made of metal. So we got it? One wooden spoon, one metal spoon. So go get those spoons. Um, and then what you're gonna get is probably a plate. I got a plate because I don't want um, a big mess. Your parents probably don't want a big mess either. So um, a, a plate and then a flat surface. That means not not something that's gonna be sliding down. So I'm gonna put my spoons here. And the next thing you're gonna need, boys and girls, is you're gonna need two ice cubes. So you can go into the freezer, ask an adult to go get you two ice cubes. So I have two ice cubes here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one ice cube on the metal spoon and one ice cube on the wooden spoon. And then what you're gonna do is leave it there. And from time to time while you play or read or, um, or watch a, a video online, you're gonna come and you're gonna just observe and make observations of what is gonna happen to the, the ice in the spoon. So what do you think is gonna happen? I mean, what are, your obs what are your predictions right now? So I'm looking at the spoons and I'm, I have some ideas of what might happen. What do you think about ice? What does ice do? What does the metal and the wood have to do with ice? So those are good questions and we'll come back and we'll see what happened to the spoons. See you soon. Hi boys and girls, I'm back. So what I need you to do now is while your ice experiment is happening, you're gonna get a marker or a writing instrument and a piece of paper, any kind of paper is, um, is fine. Cause now we're gonna journal it. We're gonna make some predictions and we're gonna journal that. Okay, so why don't you come over? So it's very easy, you get your paper and then um, I'm gonna draw a line going across like this and then I'm gonna go down like that. So we're gonna make a T-chart, all right? So what I want you to do is draw a picture of what it looks like now. So I'm gonna draw, you know, I'm gonna draw my plate. See my plate? Um, and then maybe I'll draw this one of the wooden spoons. Cause you know what boys and girls, scientists, they record what they do and they see. And so I'm gonna kind of do that. And here's my, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember art's never wrong. So I think this is gonna be my wooden spoon. So I'm gonna put a W for wooden wooden. And what do you think I'm going to put for metal? Mm, like Matthew? Marley? Hmm, mm, I think that's an M. So I'm going to put an M there. And then I'm going to draw my ice cube. So I know it's kind of like a rectangular shape. So you can draw that. If you really want to, um, to be ready for, um, for first, second grade, you can ask your mom and dad, like, what time is it right now? So I'm going to write down on my time. I'm just going to write 1 o'clock. But you don't have to do that. You can just write what it is. So this you can write number 1 for, for right now and then number 2 for later. So I'm going to write 1 o'clock and then I'll write a 1. This is 1. That means now. So then later on, I'm going to see if there are changes to my spoons. So we're doing a science journal. All right. So let's wait around and then we'll check back with me. Okay, boys and girls, so it's about two and a half hours later, and I'm looking at my spoons, and I notice some changes. So does your spoons look like my spoons? Or if they look different, that's okay too. Can you describe what you see? See, here's the wooden spoon, and here's the metal spoon. So what happened to the ice cubes? So your job is to draw a picture and to talk about it on this side. So you can share that and when you finish, if you have your mom and dad take a picture, send it to me and then we can share it online with all our um, other boys and girls in our class. Okay, good job scientists. Okay, so I thought I would share my, um, my observation. So this is my first picture, you know, there's the ice cubes. And then this is my second picture. So in my second picture, the metal spoon, um, all the ice cube melted. That was mine. And but the wooden spoon, 
Um, there was melting, but there was still a little bit ice cube left. So what was yours like? So explain it, you know, explain it to whoever um, you're with today. And then I have one more uh, question to ask you. So if you know, if you, by, by looking at the wooden spoon and by looking at the metal spoon, think about which one kept the ice cube cold longer. And here's my question. Um, on Friday, before we, um, we, before we had this vacation time, Carly brought you guys ice cream from Ben and Jerry's and she used a wooden stick for the ice cream. So my question is, why do you think the ice cream stores give out wooden sticks for ice cream rather than metal sticks? Think about that. And then get back to me. All right? Um, have a good day, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed your um, observation today. I had fun doing it with you. See you tomorrow. Bye.